touch the leg. Welcome to Tibet this week, a weekly feature in English that provides a preview of this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Headlines for today. His Holiness the Dalai Lama commences ritual ceremony for the 34th Kala Chakra initiation. His Holiness the Dalai Lama interacts with over 1000 Indian youth at Bodh Gaya. His Holiness the Dalai Lama addresses pilgrims from Tibet at Bodh Gaya. The preparatory work for Kala Chakra is going smoothly, says the chairman of the organizing committee. Sikyong inaugurates Tibet Museum's photo exhibition at Bodh Gaya. Department of Health provides free medical services to devotees at Kala Chakra. On Monday this week, the Tibetan spiritual leader, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, commenced a 13-day Kala Chakra initiation in the heart of the holiest Buddhist pilgrimage, Bodh Gaya. The Kala Chakra teaching ground was jam-packed with more than one lakh ardent devotees, ordained and lay people who had come from over 17 different countries, including China, Mongolia, United States, Australia and many across the world. Representatives of the Central Tibetan Administration, including Mr. Kagyu Thundrup, Chief Justice Commissioner of the Tibetan Supreme Justice Commission, Kimbusonam Tempe, Speaker of the Tibetan Parliament in exile, Sikyong Dr. Lobsang Senge, along with the other dignitaries, took part in the ceremony. Inaugurating Guiding Disciples Ceremony, His Holiness said, Bodh Gaya is an extraordinarily sacred place of over 2,000 years old, and some of the great Nalanda and Tibetan masters have accomplished their practices. Here. Enlightening his disciples on the motivation for drawing blessings from the Kala Chakra teachings, His Holiness said, His Holiness also said that the purpose of receiving the Kala Chakra initiation is to make transformation within oneself. On Thursday, His Holiness began teaching on Shanti Devas, a guide to Bodhisattva's way of life, and Kamala Shilas, the middle volume of the stages of meditation. His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama has bestowed 33 Kala Chakra initiations so far throughout the world. His Holiness addressed over 2,000 Indian students from 25 educational institutions in Bihar on Saturday last week. His Holiness spoke on the topic, Secret to a Happy and Successful Life. The gathering took place at the Kala Chakra ground. Addressing the large gathering of the Indian students, His Holiness said that the younger generations should focus on creating a happier world by promoting the basic human values of friendship, mutual respect, warm-heartedness and honesty. Century. So our century gone. Now you are the generation of 21st century. So. So it is your responsibility uh, to create a better world, a better future. And also, you see, you will see better future. Now you, the generation of the 21st century, now you should think more you see, about this inner value and your education and the inner value must combine. And the chancellors, vice chancellor, and the concerned sort of people, please pay more attention about that. So that the uh, generation of 21st century can be more compassionate, more peaceful. The event was jointly organized by the Interreligious Friends Association, Magad University, Bodh Gaya, and the New Enlightened World Society. 
Four days prior to the Kala Chakra initiation, His Holiness the Dalai Lama gave a special address to a group of pilgrims who had travelled all the way from Tibet to receive his blessings. Many of them were leaving back to Tibet without being able to attend the Kala Chakra initiation as they were summoned back to Tibet by the Chinese government. In his address, His Holiness the Dalai Lama assured the pilgrims that he will pray for all the Tibetans inside Tibet as he gives the Kala Chakra empowerment and told them that Tibetans can pray from inside Tibet and feel confident that they have received the Kala Chakra empowerment. His Holiness thanked the Tibetans inside Tibet for their resolute non-violent pursuit for freedom and dignity of the Tibetan people. The chair of the 34th Kala Chakra Organizing Committee in an exclusive interview with the official CTA media said that the preparatory work for the 34th Kala Chakra initiation is going very smoothly. Explaining the overall status of the Kala Chakra preparation, the Kala said that the organizing committee made a complete arrangement for the devotees including four variations of tents, electricity, water and sanitation facilities. In order to lessen problems for public during the teachings, the committee will also arrange morning tea at tent site with assistance from the Tibetan Youth Congress. Speaking on the arrangements undertaken to tackle the cash crunch during the teachings post-demonetization, Kalin said that the Sikyong Dr. Lok Sengge, along with delegations of the organizing committee have met with Indian Ministry of Finance, other officials of state and district government to seek assistance, particularly in providing adequate cash flow during the Kala Chakra initiative. As per the CTA's request, the Indian Finance Ministry has agreed to install ATM machines at the Kalachakra venue and to enable sufficient foreign currency exchanges for devotees coming from different countries. Sikyong Dr. Lop Sang Senge on Monday inaugurated the photo exhibition on Tibet and His Holiness the Dalai Lama, which is being showcased by the Tibet Museum in Bodh Gaya. The first day of exhibition saw a foothold of more than 1,000 people expressing their support and admiration for the Tibetan people and their non-violent struggle for freedom. The 13-day exhibition features panel on three different themes, namely biography of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a long look homeward and the burning question. The Tibet Museum has organized its exhibitions on Tibet and His Holiness the Dalai Lama all over India and the world. It has organized successful photo exhibitions at all Kala Chakra venues since 2000. In the run-up to the Kala Chakra initiation, the Department of Health Central Tibetan Administration has delegated over 60 health staff, including 30 nurses, 7 doctors and 6 ambulances to deliver immediate health care for the devotees. Mr. Chirkyong Wangchuk, Kalim for Department of Health, said that the department has introduced four pilot initiatives in Bodh Gaya focused on promoting preventive health care and awareness among public, free diagnosis and curative measures, promotion of Tibetan Medicare system, cleanliness drive in and around Bodh Gaya. The department has set up free medical camps at four different places in Bodh Gaya. The Department of Health is also spearheading a free anti-pollution mask distribution exercise in and around Bodh Gaya to protect the devotees against pollution and fog. That's all for today. We'll be back next Friday. Have a good weekend.